hello guys welcome back welcome back again to my youtube channel i want to take this opportunity to wish every single subscriber of my youtube channel and everybody who watches my video content a happy and a blessed new year of 2025 i wish you more winnings and more cash outs in whichever hustle that you do online so today's video is kind of our beginner's video is for those people who requested under the comment section of my other videos on how to connect proxies on their mobile devices so be sure to watch this video to the end this, this is how you connect your x5 proxies on your android devices first of all these are the most uh, commonly used apps on my android device although i mostly work on pc but someone asked me on how to connect proxies on android devices so i use turn to socks app Turn to tap for Android, SoxDroid and Kitsunebi. SoxDroid, uh, sometimes you cannot find it on Play Store. Uh, just go to apkpure.com and you're able to download the SoxDroid APK, which can now install on your device. So let's uh, let's do a connection. So I'm going to first afford to use, let me click this one. I'm going to use Kitsunebi. This is the front page. So we click on the plus sign here. Then click manual. Write anything, let's say testing or demo. Mm. Testing. Mm. Choose your protocol. Then paste your IP here. Put your port number. Like that. If your Sox5 proxy has an IP, has a username and password, just put your username here, password there. Leave all other parameters the same. Click save when you once you're done setting up. Then click here. At the top right corner there to check your ip whether it's online you see our ip is online so once your ip is online just click the place sign here at the top at the bottom right corner there and then you're connected just like that so the final setup now is on go press on chrome browser so let's check our ip location IP location it's loading so you can see our uh, IP connected very well We're in uh, United States Miloke or something a very difficult name for me to pronounce so this is the IP you can see the IP details but my disk case is 90% it's supposed to be a hundred percent so how do you make it to be a hundred percent so just scroll down to time zone scroll down scroll down you see this is the location of my details my zip code these are very important details in creating a survey account so you can see here under time i'm in america uh, the time zone is in america chicago gmt central standard time but my system is in south african time so for you to get 100 percent anonymity you just go to your devices settings here go to additional go to time zone settings first of all change region to united states Remember you want to disguise yourself as if you're in the U USA. So this is very very important setup. Once you're done like that, go back, then go to date and time, then uh, no time zone. Yeah, here time zone. Go to time zone now. Change region again here to United States. Like that. Then remember it's in Chicago. Here. Like that. You can see that the time has changed from to something to 541 now in the USA. Right now in the USA is around 5:40 a.m. So we are good. Now we go back to uh we go back to ahua.net and see whether our anonymity is hundred percent. See, that's how you make your anonymity to be a hundred percent. Remember, you are working on sites which are based in the USA, and you want to appear as if you are from there. So, once you set up your you set up your IP on Sox5 app or whichever app you are using, always change the time zone to to the to your IP time zone. 
your system time zone and your IP time zone should be the same in order to get 100% anonymity. The reason I use undetected browsers The reason I use undetected browsers The reason I use undetected browsers on a laptop is because they do they set up the time zone for you automatically. You don't have to to do the hassle of, of setting it manually like we do on Android devices. So now for SoxDroid setup is the same. Just put your IP here. I've already put the same IP. The port here. You can leave everything the same unless you have a username and password you enable there, then you put your details there. Once you are done, enable here and it will connect automatically. Enable you can even put a profile name here if you want. Once you are done, click on the top right corner here, like that, to enable. I've had already put the IP and port. You don't have to do it again. I keep on doing the same thing again. You can see the details. And if you check my location is the same. I'm connected this basically the same IP on Sox Droid. See? And my this guy is hundred percent. So that's how you do it. Now then turn to sock turn to tap is the same way. Uh here you uh you you select the your protocol either Sox five or HTTP uh, protocol I'm using Sox 5 and then you should put your IP this is what I mean eh? you should put your IP like this IP then a semicolon like this then you put your you put your what you put your port like that once you're done like that click connect and you're good to go the other one is turn to Sox you put your IP here like that then the port like that then if you have a username and password you put them then click start and you are, you are connected so basically those are the easiest easiest ways of connecting a sox5 proxy ip on your android device so for those using apple devices like iphones uh, there is one app which is uh, famous that is shadow rocket uh, proxy app I don't know the name very well and then there is Potatso app on Apple iOS store you can try them out they are free most others Sox5 apps on Apple store are charged but Potatso and Shadow Rocket I think they are free but you can check them out and once you check them out once you connect make sure that your time zone the time zone of your device and the time zone of your IP are the same in order to get 100% anonymity on Hua dot net or hua.com so thank you for watching